Hey everyone, uh, my name's Draglaw44. Um, I hope you're all keeping well and safe today. So I thought I would do a weapons tier list video for, of course, the limited time mode um, Armed and Dangerous. Now, of course, we've, uh, as we all know, uh, we've got uh, shotguns and snipers only, so it is quite easy. Um, and I'm sure you kind of have personal opinions as regards to attachments, um, you know, scopes especially, as to what would be the best for you and your style of play. Um, and I'll try and go through what weapons to maybe avoid or to be aware of, uh, just to make sure that you're getting the best out of them. But do remember, meanwhile, though, of course, to uh, never stop moving, never stop believing, and stay apex so what we'll be doing uh, shortly there is I'll be going through um, a weapons tier list uh, starting from C tier up to S tier and giving a bit of a description why um, and sort of just giving some details as to why I find them the best now just a little tip that uh, I thought I would mention there as well is, is that if you finish someone uh, you actually get your shield back now do make sure that there's no one else around or that your squad is keeping you covered but you do get your um, shield back so it's really really helpful as well now at the end of the video one other thing I will say is, is that I've got uh, a little bit of footage for Mirage's heirloom for you Mirage fans out there uh, I actually managed to get the clip uh, with the pork chop which hopefully you'll be seeing in the thumbnail if it worked well um, so that's just something to enjoy as well um, just for the end now regarding weaponry it won't really surprise you that of course uh, the Kraber is the best weapon in the game as regards to snipers um, <laughs> it does a lot of damage and it's no surprise it's a gold you know care package weapon now what I'll be doing in just a moment is actually showcasing uh, why it is so good um, and in actual fact um, it was a body shot as well so a headshot does a lot more which I'll go through um, in a moment there uh, with a bit more description but yeah Bloodhound is uh, on top of the roof uh, he doesn't know where I am exactly, uh, I can hardly see him, and I still shoot him, and he dies. Yep, that one felt good. So uh, anyway, let's get into the video. Okay, so starting off in the C tier, as regards to weapons for snipers, I'm going to do all the snipers first, then cover the shotguns. Um, regarding that, I would say that the Sentinel has got to be the worst weapon in this particular mode. Now it is a good weapon, they have buffed it, they have given it some extra things. I'm trying to find the attachments and feeling, but ignore that part. Um, so yeah, so at the moment then, uh, regarding the Sentinel, right, it has got a pretty good damage, a pretty good uh, sort of like stability and recoil. Now one of the things is, is that personally myself, I'll always use uh, the 2x4 scope, that's my personal favorite. Um, Naturally, it is very much finding a scope in the first place, so a bit of luck. But the one thing that really the Sentinel lacks on is, of course, uh, unfortunately, the fact that you haven't really got many shield cells. So to do that extra damage, you haven't got that option. So you really only can get headshots uh, when it comes to max damage, which is lovely, 140. I think if you can land your headshots regularly, this is a great weapon. But moving targets, not always easy. Body shot is always going to be between 63 and 70, usually 70, but thereabouts. Um, and as you can see, that would be the reason why uh, this particular weapon would be in my C tier as regards to snipers. It just has, we have no seal cells and it really lacks. It's a shame, but otherwise a very cool weapon. Now the next one then uh, in the B tier would be the charge rifle. Uh, charge rifle actually has surprised me because I rated it low in my weapon breakdown video that I did a while back. And actually using it a lot more and, and sort of finding out its strengths, I do realize that actually it has got some versatility and it's actually a pretty damn good weapon. I mean, if you look at the damage, it does quite a bit um, and it definitely is good for sort of close to mid-range combat even long uh, isn't that bad I would say close mm, not too close because otherwise you'll get shot by a shotgun but anyway it uh, gives you the idea definitely a good weapon and if you can put a scope on it this weapon can be definitely lethal uh, so of course the A tier now this would be the longbow longbow uh, in my regards would be absolutely amazing um, and I would say that this weapon would be absolutely fantastic. Um, without a scope, I think it's a really, really good gun. It's got a very clean iron sight. Now, it might depend on skin that you have for the weapon, but as you can see, one of the things I like uh, about this one uh, is the fire rate. It fires very fast, and that, again, is one thing that I find with the Sentinel. It's just too slow, and that is partly the reason why it was in my C tier 
as regards to snipers and, and should be the last one that you pick up unless you're very confident with it or you just have an, a massive abundance of shield cells and if you do well you know use it um, this of course is going to be a lot better with a scope uh, as I'm going to showcase again you can zoom in this particular scope as well to get uh, closer viewings uh, you can fire pretty fast it definitely does good damage and yeah you know if you have the skull piercer as well it's going to do even more damage around about 140 uh, per headshot it's very very nice indeed so definitely a very good weapon and one i'd recommend using and practicing with and just warming up and, and just getting used to shooting um as much as possible in the firing range if you're not that confident so the next one of course then is going to be uh the triple take now the triple take for me is an s tier weapon uh the reason i put this and the craver in the s tier is because the triple take is as close as you're going to get unless you find a craver um, for me, this weapon fires fast. It's got very easy control. Now, this is me using the, just a triple take, no precision choke. Um, and you can see the amount of damage, the shots. I can hit the moving targets pretty easily. Um, I can literally down uh, someone in about two to three shots. Uh, and that depends on the armor. If they've got white armor, two shots easily. Maybe even one with a headshot. It depends if they are wearing a helmet. And let's face it, helmets are pretty rare in this. Uh, so, of course, with the precision choke, then uh, this weapon then becomes even better. So if you are lucky enough to find one of those, as you can sort of see, uh, the spread tightens and the damage is a lot better. Two shot, you're dead. And that's with full purple shields. So chances are you're probably going to be able to down someone in, well, one to two shots if you're accurate maybe maybe three if you're not so much but it's going to be a lot lot easier and i think that the forgiveness on it is very good you can fire it at the pace you want you can fire it pretty fast yes you could miss some shots but the spread is very good and it is a very very decent weapon so again this is why i feel like as regards to a normal weapon that you pick up uh, it is my favorite regarding snipers i think it's very good and it definitely is there with the Kraber, although the Kraber does a lot more damage, it's just a little bit rarer. Uh, right, so of course, going into the Kraber, as you can see, 435 uh, headshots. Uh, yeah, need, need I say more? You're going to one-shot anybody. It doesn't matter what armor they have, it, it is going to kill them. Uh, body shot is about 145, I believe. So um, again, maybe you're going to down it. You know, I'd probably take two shots. Um, it is one of those things that you're going to need to be uh, practicing to get used to the the recoil uh, the shots and everything um, and it is easy to miss I mean I just tried to do a little fancy shot missed uh, and so on but you can see 145 body 435 headshot absolutely crazy now you have got limited ammo of course um, and I, naturally it is going to be one of those things where you're going to need to just duck cover like I'm showing in the video and uh, of course taking your shots and taking your time uh, but for me an absolutely amazing weapon definitely a must have if you're going to uh, be using a sniper at all in the game definitely use the Kraber if you find one very very cool right so let's move on to the shotguns then so the first of course in the C tier no surprise really the Mozambique uh, you start off with one of these it's terrible uh, without any attachment it's not even worth keeping and as soon as you get another weapon I would recommend very much picking it up uh, well actually not even picking it up dropping it should I say and of course uh, getting another one now with attachments uh, of course it is a little better um, it does do a little bit more uh, damage you can fire it a little bit more rapidly although I think you can anyway but you know kill them in three shots yeah I mean again it is not bad if you actually uh, have the hammer point uh, but of course finding an attachment keeping the weapon that long mm, not so great uh, next one of course then is a bit of a tie uh, between the Mastiff and of course then the Eva. Now I'm going to put the Mastiff lower, I'm going to put it in my B tier and this is because the spread is a little bit uh, debatable. If you fire it from the hip it does less damage uh, which is the one thing I don't like. If you aim down sights it does more damage because the spread tightens and it does more damage but you don't always want to be aiming down sights because you know if you're firing a shotgun you want to be strafing and moving as fast as you possibly can and with the EVA you don't have to do that so it really came down to hmm okay it's got quite a range on it though uh, I do feel that the spread is a little bit worse which again is why I rated it a little lower as well and it really was a hard one because I have seen the Mastiff do around about 180 to 200 damage so it can be absolutely beastly 
but again, it is very random with shotguns and the spread and the, the lack of uh, the, the damage can be debatable. So that was the reason why I put this in the B tier. Um, again, a very good weapon and yeah, I mean, it's like anything. Now, the EVA 8 uh, for me is, of course, the next weapon that I'll be looking at. Uh, I personally think that this weapon is very good. Now, without the double tap, uh, which I'm gonna sort of like equip, but then sort of like remove it, I think, if I remember. Um, what I'll do is, is sort of showcase without the double tap and with. Now, without the double tap, this would be an A tier weapon. Uh, so definitely still very good, still very viable. Again, a little bit random on the shots, but you can fire it in full auto if you want to use it that way, or you can fire it, you know, just one bullet after the other. Um, again, you don't have to fire down sights, although, you know, firing down sights is, aiming down sights is fine. Uh, you can fire from the hip and it won't really affect it. But also the range really surprised me on the gun as well. I mean, just look how far uh, you could sort of fire and do quite damn good damage. Now, when you add the double tap on then, this now becomes an S tier weapon and it becomes absolutely amazing. Um, I really, really feel like the EVA does actually excel in the amount of damage. Now, it won't be as good as the Peacekeeper, although it is individual choice. Uh, personally, I prefer the EVA than the Peacekeeper. The Peacekeeper is too slow low but it is individual choice but you can sort of see the range and the amounts I'm firing is absolutely ridiculous and you can see I mean even here from this kind of range I'm still doing around about 150 damage thereabouts I mean that could actually knock down uh, someone with maybe a blue shield if you're hitting headshots if you're good at aiming that could down them in in a couple of bursts it's crazy 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 good gun um, and I really really feel that uh, with the EVA it is definitely up there with the best of them and one that if you find it I would hang on to it that would be my recommendation you can sort of see okay the bullet drop off a little bit can be uh, variant and it can be a little variable with of course the, the damage but four burst with the double tap you can pretty much absolutely rinse anyone and it might be uh, might be less as well so the final weapon of course in the list the S tier weapon the peacekeeper uh, this weapon is insanely good. Now it does come down to preferential choice uh, between that and the EVA with a double tap. Uh, but this one does come with all the attachments. So if you find one, you've got massive damage. You can uh, in fire from the hip. You can aim down sights. Uh, the damage is absolutely crazy. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it goes and sort of you know has that kind of reloading animation each time you shoot which can sometimes lose you a little bit of um, you know momentum in a battle um, and if someone else has got an EVA you know they could do more burst damage and so on which can be a bit of a pain um, it has however got a bit of randomness with the spread but damage wise it certainly uh, is very very good so definitely the S tier weapon really awesome uh, so if you like the video found it informative then please drop a like as it really helps me out and consider subscribing for future content but otherwise remember to never stop moving never stop believing and stay apex but that is it for me for until the next video so you have a great rest of the day and take care cheers now bye bye